just down here looking at these this little old patch of junk trying to cut here this fella wanted it cut uh, I think they finally talked them into a residential cut as they call it leaving some trees for a, a future harvest so let me give you a real quick education there's zero future harvest in this uh, and even these trees you see right here I mean they ain't 14 inches every single poplar we've cut is rotten in the butt um, I'm sure there'll be a couple pretty decent ones but um, this thing this thing the best I can tell is probably logged 25 years ago 20 to 25 years ago probably yeah probably 25 um, and well like right here that's a prime example that's a high stump that this little oak sprouting off up all, up off of um, that tree will never survive it'll break off the one right behind it sprouting up off that tall stump and three junky poplars pistol butted poplars out through there where they've been bent over logging trying to leave stuff and inevitably I mean uh, and, and I'm not trying to pick on anybody or something but this you know with this particular deal as a property management they sh by all means a forester should have told them this needs to be clear cut you're not going to get a future sale off of that uh, and it's not big enough I mean we're ain't 15 acres and you know doing a residential type cut <clears throat> you're never going to get a, a stand of timber and uh, I mean just walking around looking at a lot of it it needs flattened and started all over. Uh, most of anything that's any size whatsoever was probably about the size of this tree when it was cut the last time and it's come back up, but you know, it was scarred, skint, beat up. Basically what they're trying to get us to do now. And so all of a sudden your next stand of timber will be the same thing. Uh, I mean, you might could have left it alone and not touched it for another 50 or 60 years and maybe had something, but it's it's a very unhealthy forest. Um, great example, right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. This little oak right here, to look up it, is actually one of the healthier trees here. Tall, straight, pretty little oak, and you know they wanted us to leave those for the next stand of timber. But look right there. Look what it's growing up off of. That old tall stump, that'll eventually rot out. What's left of it will rot out and that tree will fall. So, um, I mean, the only thing I really see that's healthy in here is the smaller white oaks. And I, <laughs> I guarantee, I mean, they'll eventually make it, but I bet you if you board them things, they're a lot older than what they realize. Uh, it's very obvious they left them the last time it was cut and they ain't really done anything since um, and I would almost venture to say they're not bearing they're not bearing trees now at this point either um, so really you know stands like this needs to be flattened either just left alone for 50 years and see what comes on or to to start you a next stand of healthy timber it needs flattened start it all over i mean just full of junk but we'll do what we can do with it i mean there's when you do it like this there ain't a whole lot of money for the log or the property owner uh and i i mean i'm hoping the property owner was at least informed hey pretty much you got a very unhealthy stand of timber that's junk we need to for your benefit this thing needs to be just cut and started again uh, maybe leave a few white oaks to, you know if they do bear whatever them smaller ones which we will anyway but uh you know or like these little ashes right here i mean coming up off that stump crooked and crap i mean it's just i mean <laughs> look at it 
I mean, I didn't have a problem with cutting it, but it needed to be clear cut, not uh, not talked into residential top thin and stuff. So just keep that in mind. I mean, this is what I see as a logger. I mean, you can go to school, you can get your education, you can do whatever you're gonna do, but it ain't worth crap uh, to get out here and actually see it, live it, do it. You know, see what it looks like when it's cut down, the stumps that are rotten. You know, uh, so yeah, property owners, people out there, questions. I mean, this is what happens a lot of times, and you know, to be talked in that you're going to have a, you know, another stand of timber in 40 years is is a farce because what few trees that's left that does come on, will, we'll, you know, that makes actual saw timber. The young timber that's all around it uh, is going to get torn all to pieces um, when that other stuff falls through it. So, you know, just things to keep in mind. Well, I'll get back to work.